so here we are again back in the E-Power Sport Garage and uh, it's Sunday morning today and I wanted to talk to you a little bit because, well, because I'm feeling my coffee, you know, and it's feeling good. Um, and I wanted to discuss some things that were on my mind in the e-bike and electric motorcycle industry, uh, specifically around the Metacycle and the C1X that was just released by Super 73. Um, I'm not like going to go into great detail about it. I'm just going to say that these companies are big reasons I started my company. Uh, and not specifically to make electric bikes, but to kind of help act as a validation intermediary between you as the consumer and the electric bike industry. Because <laughs> these companies are just more than happy to sell you a dream on a piece of paper and not deliver. Um, over and over again, the history has shown that they either don't deliver, under deliver, or overcharge. Which brings me to my next point, right? As a business, right, your goal is to grow, scale. Now, I've worked at Amazon twice. I have read some amazing method and theory documentation about how that stuff works. And uh, I've also worked at IBM as well in their acquisitions team. And I've read the majority of Tom Watson's uh, uh, papers, his, his memoirs on how you treat and grow staff and how you generate business properly. And, and I'm, <laughs> I'm floored when I look at what's going on in these companies because here they are, right? They started the little company. And they had a great product. It was it was a good idea. It was a great concept. Nailed the market niche, right? So impressive. And they grew, okay? And normally when a company grows, obviously they take on some additional expenses, but you factor that in. You've worked that in. You've thought about it. You've already got that going. You understand where you're getting that. Um, or in some cases, maybe you do have to look for more sales. Or you have to find ways to either cut costs or generate more revenue, more profit out of what you have, uh, which is fine, right? Those are normal things that happen in business, but but what we've seen, um, in addition to selling people on air, which is, is fine, we do this all the time, uh, but then not delivering it IRL, you know what I mean? So it's, uh, it becomes this, ooh, it becomes a, a anti-driver, actually, to our industry. Um, and it's, it's detrimental. It really is detrimental to moving things forward the way that we needed it to move forward as a society when it comes to electric vehicles, using electricity on our bikes, using electricity on our skateboards, our roller pads, our shoes, put electricity in your leg jockey, if you're running. But <laughs> back to my point about, um, pricing and businesses building. So, um, as you scale up, you can actually reduce your costs through higher purchase and therefore you can generate more profit. Or you can pass some of that along to the customer in the form of reduced prices, better service, things like this. Uh, these companies, not this one, but uh, not any of the companies here except for that one over there, uh, <laughs> actually raise prices. So, <laughs> so they're, they're getting bigger, they're able to buy more for less. Then they're turning around and saying, oh, well, we bought it for less, but we calculated our whole business model for less, which meant we, which really means we were going to take more profit, right? And so, <laughs> so we have to raise the prices on the bikes now because I got to, I got to take more profit. Not me, but that's, that's the scenario that happens. And so it's completely counterintuitive to any, I hate saying normal business practice because there really is no normal business practice a lot of times, but any uh, ethical direction, let's say, um, especially if your goal truly is getting riders on the bikes and getting them out there, okay? Um, then it makes no sense to raise the prices on them so that you can cover things that you didn't plan on, that you didn't have the foresight to see, um, or yeah, I don't, I don't even understand why. I mean, I'm a small business myself, but I'm able to bring you similar, sometimes the exact same bike uh, for less, right? And even give you free shipping and, and give you support and we're building this and we're growing this. And so I guess I, and when I look at it, my goal is to find ways to reduce the, the costs, 
so I can reduce the price to you, make it even more accessible, um, and still stay in business. You know, so I, I guess I, I get confused when I look at these other companies, especially ones that are in the like three hundred million or hundred million dollar category, and they they one they need more money. I don't understand that at all. Um, and two, <laughs> they're telling you they're gonna charge you more. I mean, you should be livid. I would be livid. It's like, it's like what's going on with gas. <laughs> Get me started on that stuff. Um, so anyway, back to the motorcycles. If you go through and on YouTube, you find some great data. You'll find some amazing information uh, from some really smart people uh, when it comes to the physics and calculating out based off of certain information, uh, the power required to reach certain uh, markers of speed, distance, things like that. So the C1X uh, has just been released. We'll go with that first since it's the newest. I mean, everybody's already getting tired of the whole metacycle not delivered thing. So let's, let's start with the C1X. That comes out, I thought it was spring 2023, but it's gonna be end of the year 2023. Now keep in mind, I can get you a carbon fiber electric motorcycle in 90 days. If you want it street legal, we can help you get it uh, registered, get the VIN number and stuff, no problem. Um, <laughs> so, so basically, I can get you one in 90 days, or you can wait for that one at the end of next year. Um, interesting thing too, if you go and, and re, uh, I'll see if I can link that, I'm sure I can link that down in the description, but you'll find that in order for the C1X, based off its weight calculations, to get to 75 miles per hour, it needs to use 20, was it 24 kilowatts, I think it was? Or is it 12 and a half kilowatts? Which isn't bad when you look at it, um, but usually once you start getting up to those higher ranges, they do cost more, right? The Metacycle, for example, coming out with this eight kilowatt, I have an eight kilowatt Enduro over here that, I mean, I've only gotten to the 63, it weighs about 150, but I'll bust on a motorcycle, let's go. <laughs> but I can tell you they don't, um, even lightening the weight and everything on it, I don't see, because you have to increase battery pack size for the distance that they have it registered, have it advertised at and everything, I don't see how it's going to get to 80 miles an hour, all right? Aluminum frame, all that fun stuff, I still don't. I have an aluminum frame bike right back here. Um, I can put a 12 kilowatt motor on it if I want. I can put an eight kilowatt motor on it if I want. Um, I can put a huge battery pack in there and then I can hang a controller off here. Oh, alarm. But my point is that I can get these bikes today. I don't have to wait a year plus for somebody to maybe deliver me something that may be what it's supposed to be. And this is what makes me sick with the industry. It's like, ooh, look at that. You can have it in a year and a half. What? Really? Oh, we'll take your money today too. And that is, <laughs> as we folks are actually releasing it, we'll start telling you about the reality. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's why the, uh, I think that's why the metaverse is, is coming about and will probably be big for some people because then we can take those dreams that were sold put them in the metaverse, they'll be what they're supposed to be. <sighs> Frustrating. It frustrates me because I can get you electric motorcycles 90 days or less. I can get you ones that are actually DOT registered. You want an ES1? I can get you an ES1. Um, you want one of these? You want to tool around? You want it to be high powered, aluminum frame, big battery? You can get you that. You want something a little motorcycle? You can get you that. You want an actual motorcycle? We can get you that. But people are being sold on dreams that companies are just barely delivering on. I mean, come on, look at the track records, okay? Look at what you're getting for what you're paying, and then look at the track records of these companies on delivering. So, so far, I'm at 